Today we're going to take a look at an underwater film camera that you can buy at a retail store right now. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and welcome back to another episode of Film Friday. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at this little underwater 35 millimeter film camera. And what's cool about this camera is you can actually currently buy it at Kohl's right now. It's part of their Sunny Life collection and it retails for about 30 bucks. Now I'm assuming this will only be around in Kohl's for a couple months. So if you wanna pick up an actual film camera at an actual retail store, uh, you can do that now at Kohl's with this guy, the underwater camera Ombre or the Ombre underwater camera. Now I looked up this camera online and yeah, it retails for 30 bucks at Kohl's. You can get a similar version on Amazon for about $17 right now. So, <laughs> you know, you could definitely get it cheaper there, but I love the fact that I could actually walk into a Kohl's and just grab this off the shelf. So let's unbox this camera and then shoot some test film through it and see what we can create. And I like the uh, coloring in there, really nice, this kind of iridescent. Uh, pink to blue. And yeah, this is just a very standard underwater housing 35 millimeter film camera. You got your little viewfinder here you look through. Close that. You've got this crank which controls the film crank so you can wind your film without taking the camera out of the underwater housing. And it's just got this seal you pop here. Open it up. And yeah, it's just a very, very basic little plastic 35 millimeter film camera. Just pull this part right here to open the back and that's where our film goes. And I wanna be a little different today, so we're gonna use some HP5 Ilford plus 400 black and white film. I think black and white photography underwater looks really cool, so I think this will be a great combination. Oh, it's a little tricky to load it there. Get it on those locks there. Okay, pretty simple to load. There we go, we got our camera loaded. And then I'm just gonna load it back into the underwater housing. Slide it in like that. As you can see, this button goes down and it engages the shutter button on the camera. So that's how you're able to take pictures underwater. You see it's got the rubber lining here to seal the water out. I'm just gonna lock this side, lock this side. And we are ready to go. Fire like this you advance the film like this. Now I don't have super high hopes for this camera. It is a very, very cheap plastic thing. Um, but I do kind of like the lo-fi aesthetic of cheap plastic lenses. If you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you'll know that. And so I'm gonna take this to my honeymoon in Puerto Rico with my beautiful new bride. We're definitely gonna be spending some time in swimming pools and the ocean. Uh, so I'm gonna take some pictures and we'll see what we can create. All right, so we're here in Puerto Rico. Got a camera. Let's get. And these first couple shots are actually double exposures. Uh, that's because I had used this film in a previous camera. I thought I had advanced past the photos I had already taken. I guess I didn't. So you get this kind of eerie double exposure combining underwater shots with winter trees. Pretty cool. Uh, the salt is kind of getting in our eyes, so let's go to the pool and get chlorine in our eyes. Yay! <laughs> Shooting with an underwater camera is pretty tricky when you're underwater. Uh, it's really hard to compose, so some of these compositions didn't turn out how I expected them. Cool thing about this camera is it floats. You can drop it in the water, and it just floats away. And you don't have to just use an underwater film camera to shoot underwater. It's great to shoot photos from the water without worrying about getting any water in the camera. This photo I actually shot under the water looking up and I love the way the waves in the pool distorted the palm trees. It started raining in this shot. I tried to capture the ripplets of the rain hitting the water. I was a little out of focus, but I do kind of like the result. It's raining, but we're still using the underwater camera. And this camera has a really soft lens, so when you combine it with black and white film, you get a really nice lo-fi vintage mood. This photo has a very back rooms pool vibe to it, and I'm okay with that. Once we were done with the black and white film, I switched to some expired Kodak Gold, and I love the colors I was able to get out of this camera, especially those pool blues. And again, this camera works outside of the water just as well as it works in the water. Here we are flying back home, and then here are some photos from Illinois. Definitely not as exotic. 
especially this shot of me sitting in a car eating Taco Bell as it rained on my car window. Okay, that was a quick look at this little cheapo Sunny Life Ombre underwater film camera from Kohl's. Again, like I said, if you wanna get a cheaper version of this, you can definitely uh, get it on Amazon. But if you wanna just go to a store and pick one up uh, for your summer shooting needs, uh, they are available at Kohl's right now. That's it for this week's episode of Film Friday. If you have any questions about this camera, comment below, I'd love to help you out. Also, this video has been brought to you by photodeox.com. We are a photo and video gear and accessory company. We carry LED lighting for filmmakers and photographers. Uh, we carry light modifiers to put on lights. And we also carry an entire line of lens adapters to mount pretty much any kind of lens on any kind of camera. So if you'd like to learn more about photodeox.com, click the link in the description below. Also click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more Film Friday videos like this one, as well as videos about all our new Photo Deox photo and video products. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and happy underwater film photography. Thank you.